crazy, berserker, I can't get this murder. Go crazy, berserker, I can't get this murder. Go crazy, berserker. Hello, my queens, and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been some time. Um, in the last video, I wasn't talking, but yeah, it's just school has been a major pain in my ass. Um, no, it's just school has been nothing but like essay after essay after essay. And I'm just like, ugh, I'm done. It's like stressing me out. As you can tell, you know, this side is like doing better as you guys can tell. But then this side, it's like, what's happening? I don't know. There's just right now school has me stressed and I can't wait. I just, I can't wait to be done. In other words, I just can't wait. All right, you guys, so let's get right into this video. So today's gonna be a first impressions video. I know I haven't done one of these in some time. And today I'm going to be doing a first impressions on these neon liners and mascaras. These are the UV eyeliner by Stargazer Cosmetics. And then there is the UV mascara. So I got red eyeliner green eyeliner orange eyeliner and neon yellow eyeliner for mascaras i did oh wait and pink liner for mascaras i did get these three shades the red the orange and the green so i'm gonna go for like a graphic liner so now i am gonna throw out a warning okay i am not the best for some reason when it comes to like free handing eyeliner just like getting it and doing it like nothing i always have something on the bottom because i can never make a straight line but for the sake of the video i am actually not going to use anything so mm. so i think between these shades the one that i'm super curious about like very curious about actually is this green right here so it's this green and i want to try it out so this one it's literally just called neon eyeliner and it's just green there's no fancy name to it so we're gonna go ahead and open that up that is the liner right there okay so god i just really hope that i'm gonna scoot closer to you guys okay so let's see how this goes. I'm gonna open that up. And we're gonna go ahead and start. Okay. It is more on the watery side i don't know if you guys can see that right there so i think this definitely has to be layered i'm gonna say it definitely has to be layered okay so that's the green I know that like on camera, it looks way, way brighter on camera. In person, it is neon, it is green. It is a little bit more um, watery. So I feel like you do need to layer it, kind of like let it dry and then go over it again. So, but it's not a fail, it's actually very pretty. I'm very impressed, I'm super impressed. All right, so I'm gonna let that actually dry up a little bit and then I'll go over it again with another layer. So now the other color that I'm, I'm curious on beside the green is going to be the yellow. And I am, I feel like the red will work, but I am kind of worried a little bit about these two right here because I'm kind of like, okay, the green is nice, but it is a little bit watery. So how is the yellow going to work? And especially the orange. So I'm actually not gonna put the green because I feel like it'll match. So I'm actually going to jump into the orange shade. So here is the orange right here. 
and then we're gonna go ahead and do it remember like i said i'm not good at freehanding and my wings are definitely not gonna be twins they're gonna be just simple sisters <laughs> so wow i went really high notice that Okay, so that's the orange. <laughs> um, okay, this one I do need to get another dip in there. And that is the orange shade. Okay, I do have to say that uh, it's on camera, like I said, it does look a whole lot smoother and it looks a lot brighter. In person, it is bright. Like in person, I feel like it's pretty bright. The only thing, once again, it's that like watery consistency a bit. So when you kind of look at it and you get really close, I don't know if you guys can notice that there is a lot of like patchiness like there's a lot of like pieces that are like missing like right here as you can tell over here it's kind of the same thing so i'm actually gonna give it a second layer and then we'll see how it looks all right you guys so this is with the second layer now you definitely 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 need two layers the orange, um, it still has a little bit of that patchiness, but I feel like maybe if, if you have like a neon orangey, maybe, or an orange of this color, you can maybe just kind of go over it with just a little bit of eyeshadow and just kind of fill it in a little bit. For the green, as you notice, there does seem to be like two different colors. It's like a lot, the like yellow lime and then like the dark, because when you layer it, the wet kind of comes on green and then it kind of like dries yellow. I did go a little high up right here so that's why that looks um, like that. <laughs> but that's how I'm going to leave it. So I do like, I really like how this one kind of finished out. The green, uh, I'm not, a, I'm, it's pretty. But, you know, maybe when it completely dries down, it is cracking very little bit. Like right here, it's cracking a bit. So, hmm. All right, so now the next two we're gonna go in with is the yellow and the red. So I'm gonna put the yellow on this side and the red on this side, and I'm actually gonna go up this way. So this is just called yellow, and this is just called red. So I'm gonna take that color, this one. I wonder, and you can see the yellow, but you can kind of see the brush behind it a bit. I don't know if you guys can kind of see that you can like see the brush. So I wonder if this is gonna be like too, it like squirted at me, what the fuck? I wonder if it's gonna be, ooh, I cussed, oh. I wonder if it's gonna be too watery. And like, I don't know, let's see. I'm just gonna connect it and kind of bring it in. Whoa, 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 look what happened. And look, the pigment's like gone. Which... Look at that. <laughs> um, it's okay, we all make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. Okay, so what I am going to do, I think I kind of got to let it dry a little bit because there, it kind of looks exactly like the other one. And of course, this big blank space, I'm going to fix it 
don't worry I'm just gonna kind of let it dry it's drying actually really quickly but it's not drying nicely it's like super patchy and it's like cracking so I'm actually gonna fix this and I'll be right back all right you guys so I did let the yellow dry and I did go ahead and um, thickened up the orange um, I did put two layers, but I can honestly say I don't like the yellow. I don't like the neon yellow at all. Um, as you can see, it just, I put a thin line, okay? I put two thin lines, but it's such a like watery consistency that it kind of like just goes everywhere. And then it doesn't really, like the product doesn't stay completely like on the applicator. So like you put it on. And I'm putting it messy right now, okay? But as you can see, it's like patchy. It's kind of liquidy that it kind of disperses. The applicator are like little brushes. So when you're kind of putting it on, they kind of open a little bit. And then it just puts a really thick line or it just spreads it everywhere. And then since it is, you know, liquid, like very a very liquidy consistency, it just doesn't like go on perfectly. And look, I literally just did this with my hand and it like came right off which is kind of the problem over here because you kind of go over it a little bit once it dries and you're kind of pulling it off a little bit. So the yellow, I'm kind of not too happy with. So far, I do like the yellow, the orange. There is like a like a weird like dark spot right there. But I am going to say that the orange has potential. Now for the red, I'm kind of like a little worried about the red now let's try this okay Okay, the red is actually not that bad. Um, the only problem is once again is the little applicator. Kind of like when the brush hairs open a little bit, it like puts a thick line and then it's like you got to go clean that up, which is a little bit frustrating. Um, so I'm going to let it dry, put the second layer and I'm going to fix the green to be thick like the orange. Like the rest, it actually does have a better, um, I guess, consistency to it. Um, I'm not digging the yellow because of how it dried horribly and it cracked already the orange does have potential i feel like if maybe you have a eyeshadow that color you can maybe kind of place it a bit on there kind of like to set it in a sense the green the green also same thing maybe a little bit of green or something in there maybe put even a little bit like of a translucent powder a bit but so far the green the orange and the red are a yes for me i'm cool with them when it comes to this, the, the yellow, I don't like it. Now, the last one is the pink. Um, I already have this craziness going on. So I'm actually just going to take the pink and just kind of put it underneath. So I'm going to kind of just do a line and kind of like connect it in the end. So I'm not gonna lie, but I actually like the pink. Um, it's like the red. There, are, these two are probably the like around the same kind of like formula, the same kind of consistency. It's actually not as patchy. So I would say these right here, out of the eyeliners, these four are good. The the neon yellow, not so much. But I do have to say that it does have a little bit. If you guys notice me blinking a lot, um, it does have a bit of like a thick. Not thick, but since it's liquid and you kind of have to layer it a bit, even with one line that I did, I know that I have eyeliner on and I can feel it like on my eyelids. Like I can feel it everywhere that I placed it. So it's not very lightweight. It is a bit, um, I can't even say heavy because it's not a heavy formula. It's just very like, 
I guess drying in a, it's very drying so you can definitely feel it on your eyes if that's something that bothers you then I don't recommend them if it's something that you're not bothered by then I would recommend the four sorry it sounded like my front door was opening now we're gonna do the three mascaras I'm kind of worried now of the mascaras I'm kind of worried so the first one's gonna be the red I'm gonna place this one here my dog's looking at me. Do you guys notice the light? We made eye contact. Like, hey, hey, baloney. You awake, mama? She just woke up. Mom! She doesn't talk to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and. You see, it's so watery. <gasps> Not on my Jeffrey. No! The carpet, sure, but not Jeffrey. Uh, okay, let's try that again. So, as you guys can see, it's like pretty liquidy. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put this. And we'll see if there's any pigment. Did you guys see? If I look up, anything? <laughs> about the red Ugh. I feel like I have to kind of put it on like this kind of get some of the color on there and then brush it through Okay, so from my perspective, it's not as bright as I would have hoped. I'm gonna look up. Let me know down in the comments below if you can see any, like any red at all. Let me kind of place my mirror here and kind of. I don't see any red. There is red, obviously, like when I look down, but I'm like, it's not as bright as I kind of hoped it would be. I mean, it is there. Maybe with like a second layer. I might have to like let it dry and then put a second layer. So now for this side, um, I'm actually gonna use the green. So let's go ahead and put the green. So that's the green right there. I really hope this one has, I'm actually excited for this one. Uh oh. Do you guys see any green at all? I don't see shit in this one. <sighs> that broke my heart. Okay. Sorry. Orange. I'm going to put orange on the bottom lash. This is what the neon orange looks like, so... I feel like I have to like put it on like this to get any kind of color. But then like once you go over it like that, you like brush it all off. Wow. The orange, literally nothing. Literally nothing of the orange. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm not gonna try anymore. I'm not gonna do mascara. I'm gonna just leave it like this. It's a first impressions. So right off the bat, my first impressions. 
the neon yellow i didn't like it it cracks it dries it i really didn't like it and i was really hoping uh, that it would do well uh, so i did okay all right so yellow i didn't like it the eyeliners the other ones i did i did like these the pink definitely the red yes when it comes to the orange and the green, the orange, I would say maybe add a little bit of like an orange shadow, you'll be good to go. I feel like it would work kind of like how you set concealer. When it comes to the green, I would say the same thing. Maybe even putting it on like a white base, but I would say for the green, it does dry kind of patchy a little bit and it does crack a bit. So that's the only thing with the green. The orange doesn't really crack. It doesn't really crack that much, but I feel like maybe if you set them or put it on a white base, I don't know, maybe throw a powder on it, maybe. But the eyeliners, I would say yes. Do I recommend them and say you have to go buy them right now? No. I feel like, you know, you can maybe do like NYX or ColourPop or... Uh, I don't like giving anything negative. It's just... It's a first impressions and I'm not completely com impressed. Will I use these again? Yes. Maybe not on my eyes. Maybe for like my when I do my special effects makeup and I'm drawing on my face. I'm drawing on my body. I feel like these will bring color in. So I want to say yes, I will use them again in those terms. I feel like when it comes to an eyeliner and using the eyeliner, definitely i will definitely use the pink this is one that i would say i like it i like the pink i think it would make a good eyeliner and same thing to the red these two mm. now when it comes to the mascaras the orange you guys saw there is nothing there like nothing when it comes to the green there's a green tint you can kind of see it but to be like whoa it's not there but it did you know if you want like a very light green tint then i recommend it the red same thing there's a very light red tint but it didn't do nothing to my um it didn't do anything to my lashes it didn't even like lift them there was no rising no volume no nothing it was just it tinted it and that was it and i feel like maybe if the formula was a bit thicker and it wasn't so watery it would have actually have done something so for me, I'm kind of disappointed with these mascaras. They did have a blue one, but I'm not even gonna try it anymore. So that is this video. So I'm kind of like bummed a bit because I wanted it to be like, whole, oh, you know, whole oh crap neon and whoa, but that didn't work out. I do have the Glam Vice Cosmetics Neon um, Loose Pigments. And I feel like those actually make really amazing liners. And I'm just gonna stick to that when it comes to neon. Um, but the only thing I'm gonna like really use, I'm mumbling, is probably the pink. The red, on certain occasions, I don't always do red because it tends to stain me really bad and it just drives me nuts trying to get it off. But yeah, definitely probably the pink. Um, all right, you guys, so that is my first impressions. Please make sure to give this video a like. Please make sure to hit that bell notification so you guys don't miss any of my videos. Please hit that subscribe button. And let me know down below what you guys think. Do you guys think maybe the formula was different? Maybe it was a bit thicker? Maybe if the applicator was, you know, not little brushes, like little brush hairs, maybe it would have applied differently. Do you guys see something that you're like, girl, that looks bad. I know that this look looks stupid, crazy, and ridiculous, but I just wanted to test out all the liners in some kind of way. I wasn't going for any kind of look. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments on these Stargazer um, eyeliners. I also do want to say though, that when it comes to the brand Stargazer, they actually have um, other um, products. They have like neon pigments and those are actually good. So they have glitters, if I'm correct. I believe they also have like crazy looking lashes. Um, I actually have a pair from like a while ago. So is it a bad brand? No, I actually would recommend using the actual like their eyeshadows are pretty good and a lot of their other products. I just feel like maybe these were kind of a bleh and it didn't really, um, it didn't hit as well. Well, not for me, it didn't. 
Um, I feel like in person, it's gonna be very obvious. On camera though, and for an Instagram pic, if you clean it up a little bit, it'll look amazing. So maybe for these, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna get rid of them. I am gonna work with these specifically more. And maybe I'll post some looks using them. Uh, for sure right now though, my looks are gonna be more Halloween-y, more fall related. So maybe these will do a comeback a little bit later. So yeah, that's the end of this video, you guys. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see y'all later. Bye, my queens.